To put it simply, Rockstar Games have never been loved by their audience. When it came to the summer of 2021, Rockstar announced the Red Dead Online Blood Money update. There was actually some decent hype around this update, especially considering big updates for Red Dead Online only come around twice a year. 2021 did actually break that routine, but that's a topic for another video. So, Blood Money. What is Blood Money? How does Blood Money work? Is the Blood Money content even worth playing in Red Dead Online? Let's get into it. But just before all that, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss any content just like this. When it comes to the basics of the Blood Money role, what you're seeing on screen right now pretty much covers all of that. So, Blood Money delivers a raft of new criminal possibilities available to everyone across the world of Red Dead Online, with each step leading to the potential of greater rewards. There are three opportunity missions in the Blood Money content, and crime missions are not part of a role. Crime missions can be played at level 1, and opportunity missions will require Capitali. Capitali can be obtained by looting bodies and chests in crime missions, or purchasing 10 Capitali from the fence for 3 gold bars. You'll be able to start a Blood Money mission from any of the Blood Money contacts on the screen right now. Crimes can be played as part of a posse with a maximum of 4 players. All crimes and opportunities award XP, gold and cash. And crimes are actually free to play, you won't need to pay any gold to get into this content. You may actually remember Angelo Bronte as the mob boss of Saint Denis from the story mode. With the Blood Money update, his right hand man Guido Martelli is looking for the toughest and most efficient outlaws that money can buy to join them up with him and perform jobs. Martelli is seeking Capitali, which is the form of currency with the Blood Money content. To start out the Blood Money content, you'll need to meet Guido Martelli in Saint Denis, and this is the cutscene that you'll be greeted with. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. Perhaps you have already guessed what I wish to discuss. The word Capitale does not mean anything to you? Hmm. Huh. For some time now, the organization that I represent has been using a unique system of exchange for our more sensitive business dealings. This we call Capitale. Private bonds with their value guaranteed by the reputation and considerable resources of my employer. It's a more uh, civilized way of doing things. Until every cutthroat and gutter trash got their filthy hands on them, it cannot be allowed to continue. The value of Capitale depends on a certain exclusivity. Understand? Come. I don't know how much you have heard of our ambitious new senator, Anton Ricard. He's an officious, naive man who has yet to learn how politics work. But his grand plans to make Le Moyne the star of the next year's state fair in Sacramento. He has also been making life very difficult for us. Come on. Excuse me for a moment. Oh, forgive me, Signor. I thought we'd be meeting alone. Who is this? He was just arrested by one of my men in the old quarter. I thought you might be interested to see what they found in his possession. How did you come by this? You stole it, no, yes? No, no. Please, Senor. Senor Martelli. Do not speak I, my I, name, I, Porco. I found it. I swear to you, I On did. On your knees. I did. I found it. I did. On your knees. I swear to you. No, no, please. I, Where did you steal it? No, I, I promise you that I didn't steal it. I will ask you only one more time. Where did you steal it? From some of the Cornwall's boys. Le Leviticus Cornwall. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. I trust this man will face the full penalty of the law. Most assuredly, Signor. Good. Proceed. Was there uh, anything else? No, I think that was enough. Don't you? Yes, sir. So, to my proposition. You will find beads like that one as far from here as New Austin, if you know where to look. I need every piece of Capitale taken out of circulation and returned to me. I warn you, some of this work will require a strong constitution. In return, I will reward you with a unique business opportunity involving our friend, Senator Ricard. But that is for later. 
I wish to see the quality of your work before I reveal my hand. I'm sure you understand. Now, it is best we do not meet again. All further communication will be through my intermediaries. Some of them are friends of yours already. I believe Mr. Foreman, Mr. Langton. In any case, bring them enough capital to impress me, and I assure you, it will be worth your while. Now, if you excuse me, buona caccia. You'll start to notice that the main focus is Capitali, and by completing crimes you won't actually earn any Capitali to be able to complete the opportunity missions. To acquire the Capitali in Red Dead Online, you'll need to loot it from characters involved in those missions, loot it from treasure chests, lockboxes, and anything similar to that. So it's not really a reward, it's more of just a bonus. It is also worth noting that to complete a opportunity mission on standard difficulty you will need to pay 15 capitali and you can only hold 50 capitali at a time. To start a blood money crime or opportunity you'll need to speak to one of the contacts. These being Anthony Foreman in northeast Saint Denis, Sean Maguire to the south of Blackwater, Joe to the east of Emerald Ranch and James Langton to the northwest of McFarland's Ranch. When going over to one of these four people, you'll be able to choose a variety of crimes and then you will also have the option of the three opportunities. You'll be able to select from some basic crimes which include a stagecoach stick up, dirty money dirty deeds, clearing house, a lit fuse and back pay. And then there will be three part contracts which include the Jeb Phelps contract, the railroad contract, blue water contract the dockside contract, the saloons contract, and the cornwall contract. Each of these have three parts to them. Each part is basically just a standard crime, but extends it out, making it a bit more fun. I really do recommend going through all of these contracts and basic crimes, and then once you have done that, you should be able to go through each of the opportunities on standard difficulty. I just just playing through all of this since it is some pretty good fun. This Blood Money update was actually the most recent update for Red Dead Online and it got quite a bit of hate simply because a lot of the veteran players that have been waiting for an update waited about 6 months and they weren't happy with the content Rockstar gave them. They found it too short and just similar to other content in the game. So now you might be thinking, well it wasn't popular so should I even play it? Well, yes. Definitely. I think you might as well go through it, since it actually isn't that bad when you're playing through it, especially for the first time. And you should definitely play through it if you're a beginner player. Considering there's no upfront payment of gold, you can get straight into this and earn some gold from the crimes and opportunities, this then being able to set you up to purchase the roles within the game. So I think that makes this Blood Money content perfect for beginner players and good to play through for those veteran players. So hopefully now you know the basics of the Blood Money content, why it wasn't a popular edition in Red Dead Online, and if it's actually worth you playing the content. Let me know down in the comments if you liked the Blood Money update and if you have any content ideas for the future. So be sure to like, subscribe and turn the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.